We will now discuss items related to the fuel system that you will encounter during cockpit preparation. With the pumps in the off position, observe the symbology on the ECAM. The pumps are cross-line amber. The fuel pumps are switched on during initial cockpit preparation, lights out velocity. Switch on the number one pump in the left tank and observe the ECAM indications. On the ECAM fuel page, the number one pump in the left tank illuminates inline green, indicating that the pump is running. Continue by switching on the number two pump in the left tank. The left tank pump two is now also running. Click on the forward arrow to finish switching the center and right tank pumps on. All the pumps are now running. Now you notice a new message on the checklist portion of the engine warning display. The message refueling is displayed on the engine warning display indicating that the refuel control panel door is open. Once refueling is complete you will verify the fuel distribution in the tanks. It's now time to start the APU. Before starting, notice that the APU low pressure valve is closed, cross line green. And the fuel line downstream from the low pressure valve is amber, indicating the APU is not running. The APU is now running. On the ECAM fuel page you can see the APU low pressure valve has opened, in line green, and the fuel line downstream is green. During engine start, the ECAM engine page is automatically displayed. However, to illustrate what occurs in the fuel system, the ECAM fuel page has been selected. Before we start the engine, observe the following. The engine low pressure valves are cross line amber to indicate closure. The fuel used quantities remain from the previous flight. Engine identification numbers are amber. This is because the engines are not running. On the engine warning display, the fuel flow, FF, indicates amber crosses. Engine 2 is starting. Observe the low pressure valve is inline green. Fuel used indication automatically resets to zero. On the engine warning display, fuel flow starts. Engine identification number two changes to white. Engine one is starting. Observe, the LP valve is inline green. Fuel used indication automatically resets to zero. On the EWD, fuel flow starts. Engine identification number one changes to white. Notice that the gross weight, GW, has now appeared. This indication becomes available after engine start. Observe the message, center tank feeding, in the memo area of the EWD. A two minute timer is activated after engine start and is restarted after the second engine is running. The center tank pumps will operate for this time and will automatically shut down after two minutes if slats are extended. If slats are not extended, the center tank pumps will run indefinitely provided there is fuel in the center tanks. The items related to the engine start are complete. We will now discuss items related to the fuel system that you will encounter during taxi. When the slats are extended, one of the automatic functions of the center tank is activated. Notice that the mode select push button switch is set to auto, lights out. Observe, the flaps are extending. Two minutes after the second engine start, the message, Center Tank Feeding, disappears. 
On the ECAM fuel page, the center tank pumps are cross-lined green, indicating that they have stopped running automatically. The main wing tank pumps now feed the engines for takeoff. The items related to taxi are complete. We will now discuss items related to the fuel system that you will encounter during normal climb, cruise, and descent. When the slats are retracted, the message center tank feeding reappears. This indicates at slats retraction, the center tank pumps are again feeding the engines. This is an automatic function of the center tank pumps when the mode select push button is in auto. Observe the corresponding pump indications on the ECAM in line green. You are now in cruise. Notice the center tank feeding message has again disappeared, indicating that the center tank pumps have automatically shut off. However, the center tank is not empty and an auto function has again occurred. To explain why, we must look at fuel recirculation. Some fuel to the engines is diverted to cool the integrated drive generators, IDGs, then returns to the wing tanks. If the engines are fed from the center tank and the wing tanks are full, the center tank pumps automatically shut off. The inner tank pumps take over and feed the engines so that there is room for fuel from the IDGs. After the inner tank pumps have fed approximately 1,100 pounds of fuel, the center tank pumps automatically restart. The following illustration regarding the opening of the transfer valves is incorrect. The valves do not open until a low-level sensor detects 1,650 pounds of fuel remaining in that tank. The sequence is shown only because it does show the automatic operation of the transfer valves. You are in descent. To better illustrate the remaining indications, we will keep the ECAM fuel page displayed. The center tank pumps have automatically shut off, cross line green, because the center tank is empty. The inner tanks are now again feeding the engines. Let's see what happens when the inner tanks reach a low level. When either inner tank reaches a low level limit, both transfer valves open automatically, transferring fuel from the outer to the inner tanks. After at least one transfer valve is open, the message outer tank fuel transferred is displayed on the engine warning display. The fuel is now totally transferred and the outer tanks are empty. Observe the transfer valves remain open. They will be automatically closed during the next refueling operation.